first, Andrew J cut the side of the cardboard box. Then, Zena glued the bottom panel of the cardboard box. Zena also used a glue gun to attach the flaps in the right and left sides of the cardboard box. With that, we finished the frame of the belen. Meanwhile, my teammates attached four large sheets of thick paper to form the base of the belen. Anna Marie split the bamboo with a machete, then polished the edges. Denmark helped Anna Marie to smooth the edges. Andre J cut the bamboo sticks to shorten the four pieces of bamboo that we used for the frame of the base. Then Anna Marie nailed the base to the frame and glued the four corners. Zena spread brown print on the belen. Then Mark attached the cardboard to the belen and used it as a roof. Zena finished spreading the paint. Anna Marie and Denmark removed the outer layer of the cardboard box for a more unique style. Zena glued paper scraps inside the belen. Anna Marie, Denmark, and Nadine spread brown paint on the back and both sides of the belen. Then Anna Marie cut a hole for a window. Anna Marie glued the lead to the roof. First on the right side, then on the left and then added a bridge to make it sturdier. Next, we glued the gable end to the side wall. Zena painted the front of the house or the belen. Anna Marie started making the figures of Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. Anna Marie continued making the three models. First, she made Joseph, then Mary, and finally baby Jesus using mesocarp or bonot and ribbons for clothing. Denmark made a Christmas tree using a dry branch and some leaves made from soda bottle. Anna Marie placed the tree models one by one inside the belen, then glued the shredded mesocarp or bonnet. We glued the coconut husk to the base to resemble grass for the belen, and we glued the Christmas tree outside the house. Then we added some minor details, like a pathway made from a strip of cloth. And this is the result of our work.